guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Nerf Rival Charger. It's a, it is a battery powered um, bullpup feeling internal mag fed blaster. On to the review. In here, this is the battery tray. It takes six alkaline C batteries. They probably should use the Rival battery pack, but I can't tell Hasbro what to do. This is how you open it. Just pull back this. It manually primes back the spring and you push in rival rounds right here it has a 12 round capacity as advertised but uh, I've tested a bunch and it can hold 13 I do not have a chronograph but I've watched other youtubers review this and they've said it's around 95 to 98 FPS or feet per second um in here this is the access door to so get into the flywheels if you have any jams or malfunctions. For how long I've had this, I haven't had any. It's a pretty reliable blaster so far. And my my opinion on this, I think it's a pretty good blaster other than it's a pretty back heavy because they should have used the rival rechargeable pack. Would have helped it a lot. It's not that heavy. And it actually increases performance advertised as um, grip, I'm a thumb hole star person, I have small hands, um, and it's just a clean, nice grip, the rev sounds like this, so yeah, um, another thing, if you want an official review on this, I'm not doing a really great review on this, but go check out channels like Coop772, and uh, Lord Draconical, because they have standalone reviews for the, this blaster. They have chronographs and they can tell you official data. Um, but I've seen Coop 772's review, and I, uh, I do agree with him. They did a lousy job on the paint job, but like he said, that's not really a wide reason not to buy it. One thing that just makes me a little bit annoyed that Hasbro didn't center the barrel like this. That kind of, it's going to trigger a lot of people's OCD, obviously. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's a pretty clean blaster. Uh, rival style rail up here if you want to mount your rival red dot. Honestly, it's not really that worth it to buy one. Just get one off eBay. Just get a fake one off eBay, probably. Um, yeah, this is the... That's... The end of this video is the review of the MXX1200 for the Nerf Rival Charger. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry, I almost forgot to uh, add one more thing. Down here, this is the safety on the Nerf Rival Charger. When you push it back, you can't rev it. Push it forward, then you can. Thank you for watching.